In this presentation, we're going to look at output and consumption for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we'll go to the production journal. Then we look at the different flushing methods. And we finish with consumption and output journals. So let's go to the manufacturing execution and create a new released production order. We want two chocolate mousse. So we refresh the production orders to have the routings and the components calculated. And we go to the production journal. Here the production journal shows all the routings and all the components. So we can change the consumption quantity or the output quantity. So let's say we've done the first step to melt the chocolate. We're going to post that and before we do anything else we go and see the result in the item ledger entries so the dark chocolate has been consumed with two entries because we had consumed a bit more and the melt step routing has been uh, created so now let's do the mix so we're mixing and that's finished so we tick the box finished and we passed now in the same way we look at the item ledger entries and the capacity ledger entries so the components for the mixing have been deducted and the mixing routing has been done Let's do the third step, place in the fridge and we do and the decorate. We've just finished in one step. So it's all done. All the components have been deducted and all the steps are completed. So we can finish the production and so that it get, it's uh, going to the finished production orders. Now let's have a look at the flushing methods. So far in the production journal we have entered both the components and the routings. We could just enter the routings because the components are linked to the uh, routings so we'll see how to do that so on a new production order let's go and have a look at the components we see that the flushing method is manual let's change that to be forward and that can be defaulted we see that in the item card so we wouldn't have to do that for each production we could put a default on the item and so forward it means when we start when we do the routing it should consume the components so here we just see the routings and we're doing the first step melt the chocolate and we say that that's finished that step is finished but only this one if we look at the entries the dark chocolate has been consumed 
because the melt routing is finished. Or even started because we are in the, the forward. Let's do now it's finished. Yeah. So let's do just the mix and say that's finished. And now we should have. The compound, the eggs, the sugar, the cream, and the cocoa powder that are consumed. So we do that again. And so the difference between uh, backward and forward. For forward, we just need to start. If we don't finish, it's it's already consumed in the backward method. We would need to be finished. So on this one, on the we put that in the fridge, and we said it's not finished that step. If we look at the routings, we see that it's in progress. Let's go and finish our chocolate mousse and post that. So everything is consumed, all the components, and all the steps are completed. So here with this method, the system uses the expected quantity. Now let's go and see other, uh, some other ways to do that, to do the consumption and the output by do it, by using journals. So in the execution, we have the consumption and the output journals. We can ask the system if we tell, if we enter a production order, the system can tell us what is expected and we could post that or the consumption would be uh, posted let's do something a bit different so we could say not a reproduction order but for one item the chocolate mousse that we make maybe we're making several ones so we're going to use the source number to filter on this finished good. And we can also, oops, let's do that. Alright, we've got all the chocolate mousses. So we, and uh, let's do it a bit different this time. Let's say we just want the uh, the first step, so the dark chocolate when we melt the dark chocolate to to appear, so that can be filtered. So here we're saying we've done the melting for two production orders. We could do it also manually. Just enter the production and the item, and we put the quantity. So it's a way really of entering the actual quantity instead of having the system suggest us what to consume. Okay, a bit a bit less on the the first one, a bit more on the sec on the second. Now let's go to the output journals we can enter a production order if we look up we have the items that we're making just making one item on this production order 
and we can s select which step we've made how long did it take to do it, is it finished and we post or we can ask the system to explode and to show us all the steps for a particular production order and we complete it by entering how long it took and if it's finished or not.